we are all fascinated by space, aren't we? Especially our very own solar system. Deep down in the core of our hearts, every space lovers dream of visiting other planets. Imagine standing on Mars or Pluto and seeing how everything looks out from there, including the sun itself. But what would the sun actually look like from each of these planet? Is it a blazing fireball or just a distant twinkle? And while we are at it, how do the sky differs on Venus, Saturn or even the tiny Pluto? Well, today we are taking you on an incredible cosmic journey throughout our solar system and we'll show you how it looks like standing on each of the planet. Are you interested? Let's get started. Our first stop, Mercury. The sun's closest neighbor. Here the sun is absolutely massive, three times larger and way brighter than we see on Earth. Imagine standing next to a giant bonfire, but instead of warmth, you would be completely incinerated. And the sky? It's pitch black because Mercury has no atmosphere to scatter light. It's just you, the sun and the whole lot of heat. From 800 degree Fahrenheit by day, to a freezing minus 300 degree Fahrenheit at night. Next, we have Venus, the queen of extremes. You might have heard it's called Earth's twin, but trust me, it's nothing like the Earth. You can't stand on Venus because you will be vaporized in seconds by the extreme heat of 900 degree Fahrenheit. And if that doesn't get you, the crushing atmospheric pressure would squash you like a soda can in a trash compartment. But somehow, let's say you managed to survive all of that and came all the way here to see how the sun looks. Sorry to disappoint you. The sun is completely hidden behind a thick cloud of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. All you will be able to see is this permanent golden yellow haze. Venus might be beautiful from a distance, but up close, it's all a drama. Next up is Earth, but you already know how the sun looks from here, right? Big, bright and perfect. Let's skip ahead and go somewhere further. Our very own red planet, Mars. Welcome to Mars, the red planet. The sun here is smaller, about two-thirds of the size we see on Earth. And the sky, it's dusty orange most of the time. But get this, during sunrise and sunset, the Martian sky turns blue. Yep, blue sunset on a red planet. Mars like to keep things very interesting. But don't let the view fool you. It's freezing cold out here. Average temperature is around minus 80 degree Fahrenheit. And then there's the dust storm, which can last for weeks, even months, covering the entire planet. So if you were planning a trip to Mars, which humans will probably do in very near future, pack some goggles and some warm coat, because it will be freezing cold out here. Mars might look stunning, but it's definitely not that cozy. Now we are heading farther away from the sun, where it starts to look smaller and smaller. And trust me, the farther we go, the more fascinating things get. Welcome to Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. Before you get too excited, let me warn you, there is no solid ground to stand here. Jupiter is a gas giant. If you try to land here, you would just fall deeper and deeper into its thick, stormy atmosphere until the crushing pressure ends the journey for you. But somehow, if you manage to float in this atmosphere, you will see the sun, tiny, less than half the size we see from Earth. And the sky? It's a swirling chaotic maze of orange, white and brown clouds. Oh, and let's not forget about the Great Red Spot, a storm that's been raging over for 350 years. 
Imagine a hurricane so big it could swallow two Earths. Yeah, Jupiter doesn't do anything small. So let's get away from here as quick as possible and head further away from the sun where the views becomes even more surreal. Welcome to Saturn, the planet with the beauty. Those iconic rings, they are made of ice and rock and stretches over 170,000 miles wide. But they are only about 30 feet deep. It's like the ultimate cosmic accessory. The sun here is even smaller and dimmer, but the light's reflex of Saturn's ring makes them look absolutely stunning. But just like Jupiter, there is no solid ground here either. But if you could somehow manage to float in Saturn's atmosphere, you would get one of the most breathtaking views of the solar system. Just don't forget to look up and admire those rings. They are the main event here. Now we are at Uranus, the solar system's oddball. Why oddball? The planet is tilted so much, it's basically rolling on its side, like a bowling ball. Its sky is a calm tail blue, thanks to the methane gas in the atmosphere. And the sun is just a tiny dot now, barely bright enough to light the entire planet. Honestly, it's like someone deemed the universe's brightest settings to the minimum. Also, Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system, with temperature dropping to minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. And get this, its season lasts 21 years. Imagine decades of non-stop winter or summer. It's pretty, but I will pass living on here. Next stop, Neptune. Officially the farthest planet in the solar system. Its sky is stunning deep blue, even darker than Uranus, thanks to even more methane in the atmosphere. And the sun, it's just a dim little dot in the distance, barely bright enough to identify it as a star. And Neptune doesn't look just cool. It's home to the fastest wind in the solar system, reaching 1200 miles per hour. That's faster than a fighter jet. And in a giant storm like the great dark spot, the Neptune feels like solar system's ultimate weather experiment. Now there's only one stop left. Let's head to the edge of our solar system, the Pluto. Finally, we are at Pluto, the little underdog of our solar system. The sun here is just a bright dot in a peach black sky, barely bright enough to cast a shadow. But even with such faint light, Pluto's icy surface reflects it beautifully, creating a magnificent glow. It's cold, distant and lonely, but there is something enchanting about Pluto. It might not be a planet anymore but it will always have a special place in our heart, just like the heart we see on its surface. From Mercury's blazing sun to Pluto's faint sparkle, our solar system is full of wonders. Each planet tells a unique story, 
which one amazed you the most let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more such cosmic adventures